So here we go. It's really a delight to have everyone here tonight for this. And I'm sure everyone is very curious about what is going to happen tonight. You want to look into it and, and really examine it and see, well, what are they looking at? I want to see it too. This could be very exciting. <laughs> so that guy is really a curious parrot, isn't he? he is. And I just wanted to share that with you for us to get started in the right way tonight. But here's what we're really going to look at. We're going to look not the speed in eating. We've already looked at that. But we're going to start with salads. And I know everyone's excited when I bring up salads. We love them. Foods that make you thin. What about salads? Well, what's wrong with this picture? <laughs> Where's the salad, right? Where's the salad? So what would happen if you ate a salad before each meal? Would it affect the number of calories you would eat for the entire meal? There was actually 42 women participating in this research study at Penn State University, and you can see it's the nutritional science department there at Penn State University. And these 42, they participated in this, and it had to do with eating salads, and their control condition was to not eat a salad. And then they would go before the main course, okay, you haven't had a salad, that's the control. And so you, then you're, you're gonna eat some pasta, and you can eat as much as you want to, they'll measure it though, okay? But the other situation is that you would eat a salad. The control condition is no salad and eat as much pasta as desired and calories were then counted. And you can eat a salad before each pasta meal in different size, sizes. Here's 150 gram salad or 300 gram salads and we're talking about by weight, okay? By weight, that's all we're doing. We're just putting it on there, okay, 150 grams. Well, what do you want to put on that to come up with 150 grams, you see? Energy density was changed with salad dressings or types of cheese. Can you imagine the weight when you put thick Thousand Island dressing or blue cheese or whatever it might be on the salad? That changes the composition of the salad and it also makes a difference on how much you would be eating. So you have 150 gram, salad was one of them, and they divided it into three categories, 50 calories, 100 calories, or 200 calories. And that would be determined by, you know, cheese or, or dressing that you would put on it. And the other one was a bigger salad, a 300 gram salad, 100 calories, 200, or 400 calories. To control or lose weight, eat a salad without high calorie dressings or cheese before your main course at dinner or supper. The results with this light dressing, less, you know, dry, uh, light dressing, less or no cheese. Well, here were the results. And you can see that by a 100 gram salad with those uh, categories, you have a larger salad, more volume. <coughs> Same with the 300 gram salad, more volume of food. You getting uh, the technique here we're talking about? So the 300 gram salad with a low calorie dressing, 12% less was eaten for the main course. Hey, you've already put quite a bit in your stomach, but not that many calories, see? And the 100 gram, the same thing. It dropped the amount, 7% less was eaten for the main course. The rich dressings, they added calories and less volume. You had more room to eat the pasta then when you put on that, that thick uh, thousand line dressing or whatever it is, and cheese. The rich dressings add calories to the salad and less volume resulting in more eating for the main course. And so the strategy is 
get your uh, romaine lettuce is, is fantastic. It's the most nutritious. And it's got some fiber and other nutrients in it. So I like to, to eat romaine lettuce and one that looks kind of like that. Yeah. Now you can, huh? It's easier on the stomach too. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. And then also you can get these uh, Walden Farm uh, dressings that have no calories. And they're not real thick and heavy. And you can put a little bit of that on there. And anytime you use dressing, don't do like that first picture. You're having a little bit of uh, lettuce with your dressing. You need to reverse that. So anyway, Ruth, who used to be a member here, we've had many, Ruth had a 12.4 A1C, and she got it down to an 8.2 by just using this strategy. I couldn't believe how many salads she was eating. And she, she learned to like it. And I love salad too. So that is a good strategy to use and to put into practice. So you think volume, how can I put more volume in my meals instead of calories? And from the Mayo Clinic, they say this, choosing foods that are less concentrated with calories, meaning you get a larger portion size with a fewer number of calories can help you lose weight and control your hunger. So how does that sound? Sound like a good strategy to try? I think it's worth it. Now, we're going to go to healthy sandwiches. But this isn't really that healthy. But I know everyone eats a hamburger every now and then, probably. You look at this, the quarter pounder at uh, McDonald's, which is not one, not one of my favorite, by the way. But look at that, 510 calories for that guy. Look at the, the fat and the saturated fat in there. They've even got some of that. Surely they've taken that out by now. And so the total carbohydrates, you know, the bun, 40 grams What's of carbohydrate. Calorie King says it's 52 grams of carbs per quarter pounder. Huh? Calorie King just says it's 52 grams of carbs per quarter pounder. But, I don't know. Well, this, this, I thought this came from Calorie King. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, here's an idea. You see what it is. It's the old lettuce wrap. What's going Instead on, of the guys? Bun. Me, just want to show you a quick semi. <laughs> I don't even know if this is working. Carl's Jr. will do the lettuce wrap. I've heard about that. Let's see if it's working. I don't know if it is or not. Hey, what happened? Okay. You see, you can eat a hamburger in a different way using lettuce instead of a. What's going on, guys? Me, just want to show you a quick 